doing, Mayor? You lead Hey, us. let's go down to the river and look at the new... Um, has anyone seen the new build out on the river? We have. Have you guys seen it? Let, Pete's check Path. It Let's go check it out. So from the river to that wall that you see is all public space. City property. That's all city property. All public space. So everybody thought that we gave away the river frontage. That's not the truth. Can't buy that. So, so you can't buy that. And then you see the corner over there to my left? That is the new boat and bike rental component. So you can rent a paddleboard, you can rent a kayak, you can rent a bicycle and ride up and down Pete's path. But it's just a great amenity. And then if you go all the way to the corner, the new McLean Park that's there, it's been totally renovated and it's going to perform like an outdoor amphitheater. So they'll bring up the floating stage and it'll just provide opportunities for people to gather and have a concert and a great amenity for finally the core of the city right there. So it's not a big park, but it's a great amenity for Wichita. So you have the boat and bike rental, WSU storing their shells in there, their rowing team's gonna start using this section of the river which I think is gonna bring more people down when you just simply see activity. So you're gonna see us program the river. So our park department is gonna start holding paddleboard classes out here. So you don't have to own a paddleboard. You can sign up and our park department is going to start programming the river starting with some paddleboard classes. So instead of walk along well, should we all go have a paddleboard class? No, I don't think so. <laughs> I'll watch from the bank. But, you know, again, I think that's going to be a great amenity for the core of the city. So here's what I, I really like seeing. So if you, and, and Cindy understands this better than anyone, you've been down, down for how long now? 14 years. So if you go back 14 years ago, you didn't see anybody downtown unless it was a concert or a specific event at Century 2. Today, you can come downtown, weekdays, weekends, it doesn't matter. You're gonna see families walking from the river to Old Town, from the Old Town to the river. Late at night, weekends, there is a lot of activity down here and it's going to continue to build because this apartment complex just started opening up. It's 200 units. And then across the street from them, next to the library is another 200 unit apartment complex that's getting ready to go in. And you have Douglas Place that is what, two blocks away? That is now about half filled. So I talked to Cargill. We did a walk through their new Cargill building. They're spending $70 million on. They told me that all of their new hires, and they've got a bunch of young people that they need to hire, all their new hires, are finding a place to rent downtown. They want to stay downtown. So half of Douglas Place now is filled with Cargill people. And they think that that trend is going to continue. So it really is changing the, the energy, the core of our city, which will continue to help us.